Hey guys, we're going to show you how to install a texture pack on your Macintosh computer. Uh, it's really easy to find a bad tutorial on, on how to do this. So make sure to like this video so people know how to correctly do it. Uh, what you want to do is open your Safari or internet browser, whichever one you choose to use, and search for Minecraft Texture Pack. The first link is most popular one it has a long list of texture packs but you can get them anywhere i don't know why this is taking so long okay there we go this has a pretty good list of a bunch of them and then you just pick one there was one i wanted to install this one looks pretty nice so <clears throat> you click the link if you're doing it from this website and wherever you are you're going to find a download link Usually, a lot of times you'll get it from Mediafire, or sometimes they just link it straight from there. But click and you download, and it will download like this. It'll download into a file. So you click Show in Finder, which will bring you to your download page. And what I'm going to do, you can do it from here, but I'm going to put it on the desktop just to show you. So you can exit out of that. You pop open the folder of the texture pack and select everything in it. Now, you can hit edit select all if you'd like. It depends on what you want to do. And then once everything is selected, you right click and click compress 20 items or however many items there are in it. You compress them all. And that will make this thing down here. It'll a, a zip file that will say archive.zip. And if you click that once, you can rename it and you want to rename it to really whatever you want, but I suggest naming it to what the texture pack is because this is what's gonna show up in Minecraft. Don't leave it named archive because it's it's just gonna get confusing if you add more than one. It's gonna be like archive one, archive two. So you take that, throw that in the desktop, and you make sure to do it this way because this is where most people mess up, I think, is they will try and right click and compress just the folder. And you can't do that because that will just compress the folder, not the contents of it inside. So don't do that. Boop. And you can throw that in the trash now because this is all you need. All right, that's step one. Step two, let me close that. That is not step two. Step two is you open your finder. You go on the side here, you find your name. You click it and then you find a library. Double click library. And then you go to application support. And then you click Minecraft. You'll find Minecraft in here. A lot of times it'll be a long, you might have it in list form or maybe like that. I don't know. But, uh, and you might have a longer list just because mine, I don't, I just reinstalled my <coughs> uh, operating system. So I had to reinstall my my applications and stuff so I don't have a lot of applications anyways application support and then Minecraft and when Minecraft is open there's a texture pack folder click and open that see I already have two in there and you just click and drag it in and that's all you gotta do and it should be installed and it will be installed Then you just open Minecraft and I'll show you real quick how it's installed and just log in and thanks for watching the video uh, I just I just know there was not an easy definitive way to uh, install texture packs on Minecraft. See, here's where they are. That's the one I just installed. You click it and it changes everything already. That's amazing. Make sure to look at our other, other <laughs> our, our other videos. Oh my gosh, that's utter crazy. Uh, make sure to look at our other videos, like them. We kind of need some support. I did a review of Fortress Craft, which is getting a lot of love right now. See, there's a new texture pack. So pretty. So thanks for watching and subscribe. You could win a free copy of Minecraft. <laughs>